Good morning, guys. So I looked in my fridge and I have eggs. I have some boiled potatoes left over from chicken leg dinner the other night. I have a little bit of shredded cabbage left in the in here. Piece of red bell pepper, some red onion, and I have some feta cheese left in here. So I'm gonna make breakfast with this. I'm not exactly sure what I'm making yet, but I know it's gonna be good because all of these ingredients are good. So let's get started and I'll figure it out as I go. Okay, so I decided not to use the cabbage because I'm gonna use it for a crispy salad tonight. I have decided that I'm gonna make a potato hash with the leftover boiled potatoes the onion, and the red pepper. So I'll make a potato hash with some eggs over easy on top and um, some toast. I think that'll be perfect. I'm just gonna preheat a skillet with some olive, oh, that's vinegar. Oh. With about a tablespoon of olive oil, just like that. And I am gonna start chopping the onion this onion for something else. I'm going to cut some red pepper. And now I'm gonna season the potatoes. I'm doing a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, some black pepper, lots of garlic powder. If you don't like garlic, then you can leave the garlic out, but the garlic gives the potatoes, onions, and pepper such good flavor. It's amazing. So I do a lot of garlic powder, at least a teaspoon. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a stir to mix up the seasoning, and I'm gonna let it sit here and just saute, soften up while I cut the boiled potatoes because the potatoes are soft already because they're already boiled. So we're just gonna crisp them up a little bit, but you want the pepper to be a little soft. So I'll let the pepper and onions cook a little while I chop the boiled potatoes. Okay, so these are the boiled potatoes that are left over from chicken leg night. So I'm just gonna dump them out. And there's some raw scallion in here. I'm gonna separate the raw scallion because I'm gonna use it to garnish the top of the dish when I'm done cooking. You could just throw it in the pan. I might throw it in the pan later. I'll decide later. Um, but I'm just going to separate the scallion from the potato and either use it to garnish later or I'll just throw it in the pan with the peppers and the onions. Either or. It doesn't matter. Just don't let it go to waste. So you want to cut the boiled potatoes in like little cubes, like a large dice. Um, Cause if you make them too big, then it's just going to get warmed through, but they won't be crispy at all. You want the pieces to be a large dice so that they get nice and crispy and you have a delicious hash and leave the skin on. The skin is, you don't even taste the skin and it's extra fiber and nutrients. So just leave it on. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the potatoes in the pan with the peppers and onions and start getting the potatoes nice and crispy. Once you get the potatoes in the pan, you're just gonna give them a stir because you want that potato to get coated in the olive oil at the bottom of the pan. 
because that's going to help them get nice and crispy. At this point, you could also season the potatoes again with salt and pepper because the potatoes are plain. They're just boiled potatoes and you did season the pepper and the onion, but you didn't season the potatoes. So you could season the potatoes at this point. I'm not going to only because I'm using a sprinkling of feta cheese at the end and the feta is very salty. So, but what I am going to do is add some paprika because it just popped in my head. That would go delicious with this. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of paprika in here for seasoning, and that's just gonna level it up another level. It's gonna be so good. So I'm gonna put another drizzle of olive oil because the potatoes are looking a little dry, and I want them to get nice and crispy. So just like that, put a little bit more olive oil, give them a nice stir, and then you're gonna put this up to like a medium, medium high, because you want these to get nice and crispy. So my husband accidentally picked up parsley instead of cilantro the other day. And that's okay because normally I don't garnish my food with parsley, but since I have it, I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna chop this up and I'm gonna use it to uh, garnish the plate when I'm done. And I have this roll that was in the freezer and I took it out before I started cooking. So it's semi-thawed and I'm just gonna cut it in little pieces like this, little, I don't know, baby toasts, whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of butter on them and I'm going to put them in the toaster oven to toast. And these are going to go on the plate with the hash and the eggs. And you can dip the bread in your over easy eggs or you can just, some people dip it in their coffee, <laughs> whatever you want to do with it, but it's going to be yummy. So I always have bread in the freezer. Okay, so I'm going to lay these flat on the cutting board and I'm gonna get my butter and I'm gonna just put a little bit of butter on each of these and then I'm gonna put it in the toaster oven to toast up. And I'm just gonna line these up on my toaster oven tray, butter side up, and I'm just gonna put them in the toaster oven. Um, actually, I'm gonna put them at bake 450 for 10 minutes, and they're gonna get nice and warm and crispy. Okay, pop these in the toaster oven. All right, so I'm gonna chop the parsley, take a sip of my coffee first. All right. So now I'm gonna start cooking my over easy eggs. The hash is almost done, the bread is toasting. All we have to do is cook the eggs. I'm gonna spritz the pan with a little bit of olive oil with my spritzer. And then I'm gonna use my silicone basting brush just to make sure the entire pan is coated evenly so the eggs do not stick. And I'm gonna let the pan get nice and hot before I even put the eggs on. Okay, so these potatoes have been sitting there on medium, medium high for about five minutes while I chopped the parsley and oiled the pan for the eggs. And so now I'm gonna give them a turn because the bottoms are nice and crispy. And now I wanna get another side of the potatoes crispy. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my eggs on the pan. The pan is super hot, it's nicely oiled so the eggs are not gonna stick. You see when you crack the egg how part of the egg runs? That's okay, just take your rubber spatula and push it right back into place. Not a big deal. What you don't want is to leave it there and then you crack the other eggs and the other ones run and then they're all connected and you won't be able to flip them later because they'll all be stuck together because of the whites. So whenever I crack the eggs, I just take my spatula, push the egg white back where it belongs, Okay, so we have the hash going, we have the eggs going, we have the bread in the toaster oven. Okay, so I'm gonna give the eggs a flip because we like our eggs over easy. So I'm just gonna give these a flip. 
And once I flip the eggs, I'm turning off the pan. The residual heat from the pan will cook the egg white and the inside will still be runny. So I'm just gonna turn off the pan and let them sit here while I get the plates, turn off the hash and get the bread out of the toaster oven. Okay, so I got my plates out and I'm gonna start plating this up. My oldest child is still sleeping um, and he doesn't like all this peppers and onions and all that. He's a plain scrambled eggs and ketchup kind of guy. So I'll just make his breakfast when he wakes up later. So the three of us are gonna have, I'm just plating up the hot potato hash. The potatoes are crispy. They're super duper flavorful. And it was the perfect amount for the three of us actually. Worked out amazingly. Okay, the bread has been in here at 450 for 15 minutes and it's nice and super toasty. Okay, so now I'm gonna plate up the eggs. So we're gonna put the eggs on, we have the hash on, and then we're gonna sprinkle everything with a little bit of parsley, make it look nice and pretty, just because I have the parsley. Not something I normally do, but since I have it, might as well use it. And you eat with your eyes first, right? So if it looks good, it tastes even better. I'm just getting my nice toasted baguette on the plate. And you can use that to dip in your yummy over easy egg. Okay, now this is delicious just as is, but I'm gonna add one more thing. This is optional. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of creamy salty feta cheese and sprinkle it right over the crispy warm potatoes. And this just brought it to the next level. This is so good. And voila, breakfast is served, inspired by some leftover boiled potatoes that I had in the fridge. You can make amazing meals without spending a lot of money. And using leftovers with other fresh ingredients that you have in the fridge is a great way to do that. Let's give these a taste. Mmm, so good. Those potatoes taste so good. Mm -mm. Yummy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now that is a yummy breakfast. Thanks for watching and bon appetit.